Come over here and stand with me and, and see what we can talk with. I want to ask you a couple questions. Uh, you know, not more have you seen, have you seen, what would you say the percentage of uh, damage is to your crop right now? What do you need, what do you need to help? I mean, do you need uh, some assistance from the <laughs> So hopefully it'll be able to get a little bit. I'm going to get on top of this truck right here. I, we, we come out here and we ask for you to come out and uh, be with us uh, because what, what I'm doing today down here back in the district is to come out here and I've got an opportunity to meet uh, Thanks for that. And with Mr. McKay and come out and look at his crop, uh, his cotton. And, and of course, we invited you to come out too. And let me thank the members of my Ag Council <clears throat> Uh, for bringing this uh, issue to my attention. And uh, uh, we started, they started calling my office, uh, uh, Danny Ellison and Carl Sanders and uh, who else is on my uh, ag, uh, ag council that has talked with the staff. And uh, uh, earlier part of this week, the governor had not uh, requested that uh, uh, Alabama, the counties in Alabama, receive uh, disaster designation status. And we started inquiring, and of course the governor, I want to thank the governor for uh, sending a letter and a request to Secretary Vilsack uh, to declare Alabama crops uh, uh, a uh, premier uh, disaster uh, crop uh, this year, This all the counties. And he did that day before yesterday, so I thank him for doing that. Now what we're doing today is uh, sharing more light on that and asking uh, the Secretary Ag, Secretary Vilsack, to act very quickly and uh, on the governor's request and our request and declare Alabama a disaster uh, designation uh, for uh, you to be able to get some federal uh, resources. And uh, if he'll do that, uh, we've got our FSA uh, director here, Daniel Robinson. Daniel, if you would let, let everybody know where you are. Daniel has been appointed by the president because the quicker he gets his assessment uh, uh, done, the quicker Vilsack, the secretary, will make his determination and you'll be able to uh, tap into some low interest FSA loans that we have available if it's determined that you've got the necessary uh, damage. If y'all didn't hear what he said, Mr. McKay said based on his uh, viewing of his crop there, it looks like he's going to have a 50 plus uh, percent damage, uh, destruction of his cotton. He's got about 250 acres here, 210 acres of cotton here. And if, you, if your crops will look like this, uh, please uh, be in touch with us and uh, let us know, let uh, uh, Mr. Robinson know, and so we can get it uh, factored in our, uh, his assessment. Uh, the other thing, too, that I think is important is that we want to, we're bringing attention to this and we're requesting that this uh, uh, designation by the secretary be done uh, as quickly as possible because the end of the year is approaching, and that date is very important. We've got some uh, legislation that's working its way through the through the House and through the Senate, similar uh, legislation, that will not just, uh, once the designation has been made and the assessment uh, made and, and the designation of uh, disaster been, been uh, decided, but it will also not only act, give you access to low interest loans uh, to replace the losses that you've, uh, that you've had, but it will also, this legislation will also uh, use, hopefully, part of the TARP money that is out there that has not been spent to give you direct, uh, direct loans. Direct loans are, are direct grants or direct payments is what we refer to them as. They're payments directly to you uh, that's not in the form of loans where you don't have to pay them back. So I think it's very critical for us to push this piece of legislation and if we have, we have to get this uh, disaster declaration before the end of the year, before you're qualified to get those direct payments. So I am uh, a joint sponsor, co-sponsor, along with uh, Marion Berry out of uh, Arkansas and Travis Childers out of Mississippi. Arkansas and Mississippi has already been declared disaster states. Now we've got to work on Alabama and get it done before the end of the year. So for two reasons. One, you get those access to the low interest loans by RSA. Uh, FSA, 
and uh, you get uh, those direct payments uh, if this legislation passes between now and the end of the year. So, uh, Mr. McKay, thank you very much for hosting us out here today and for giving me firsthand knowledge of what uh, y'all are experiencing out there. And I understand it's not just cotton, it's uh, peanuts and uh, corn and any other products. Uh, peanuts was the next big thing uh, lost. We lost a lot of our crop in the ground. Uh, Mr. Robinson, you want to say anything to, to any of the farmers out here? Uh, thank you, Congressman. First of all, I'd like to certainly express my appreciation to the Congressman Bright for coming and uh, for pushing along with the governor to request uh, this after declaration for Alabama County. Uh, I pledge to you that our staff will expedite the process. In fact, they've already been alerted to start the preliminary work in each one of the counties to start gathering data. Uh, some of you all may be contacted individually. But we're going to do all we can to push this along. As the Congressman said, <coughs> so many other benefits uh, that could come up your way other than low interest loan. And most of the farms I've talked to, they don't want any more loan, they need some grants. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you can get that. And, and what we're going to do, uh, once we get the declaration, those farms that do come in our office and ask for a merchant loan, loan, they're going to be given top priority. We play that full support. Uh, uh, we're looking forward to interacting with more of you all as we go through our tenure as state executive director. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Robinson. As y'all know, many of you have known Mr. Robinson for a number of years, many more years than I have, but he uh, was appointed uh, just a, a couple of months ago by the president uh, as our FSA director here in Alabama. And he's pledged and committed to work with you uh, in every way he possibly can to help y'all weather this, uh, uh, this uh, disaster uh, as, 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 as best you can and I recognize let me tell y'all and this is not a stump speech this is I come from this area I come from the wiregrass I was born and raised here and farming is a way of life down here along with a couple of other things and that's the military and, and all and, and I know when the farmers get hurt uh, it hurts the whole country so uh, thank you for your support thank you for helping us uh, get you what you need to offset this uh, this disaster we're we're committed to help you every way we possibly can. But not only in what uh, I heard Daniel say just a minute ago, is you're tired of the low interest loans. You want some, you need something more drastic. And this is what this piece of legislation, if we can pass it, if we can get this de declaration by the secretary and get uh, this legislation passed, we can use some of this, uh, some of these monies like the TARP monies or the paybacks that these big banks are paying back uh, on the interest that they earned on the money that they got, free money they got, um, some of that money. We'll fight, uh, uh, Mary and Barry and Travis Childers and I and many more will fight to make some of that money available to you to offset the losses that you have this year, hopefully.